Oke okay, ya, sandal ya. Wow. Oke, okay, smile. Oke, okay, good. Oke, okay, daming ibon ah. Wow. Punong-puno ng ibon dito sa taas. So, ito ang uh, napakagandang uh, lugar ng uh, Dubrovnik. Uh, we had to fly from uh, uh, Naples, Italy it took us only 45 minutes to get to this beautiful place and it's a UNESCO site oh dito it's uh, it's uh, under under the sun no it's not under the sun it's backlighted so this area is better because it's not backlighted right now and it's only uh, 315 here in Dubrovnik we just want to observe the lifestyle here it looks very slow people are just uh, chilling out while chilling out they're on their cell phones getting in touch with their friends or their loved ones wow I like to go back to this place yes but uh, I would want to go back during the winter time because the hotels here are very very cheap and if it's not cheap they're probably close because uh, uh, there's not much clients coming here during the winter however uh, from what I hear during the winter it's not that uh, cold it doesn't go below zero so it's okay there's not much snow but uh, I just don't know why uh, they don't have uh, so many flights so most of the common flights are coming from Zagreb or in Rome wow. just to be here it's just so nice and you're inside a UNESCO site huh? imagine our hotel is just uh, one block away. My bell. Huh? My bell. Oh. Evan. Ayan, si Evan nakangiti na. Siguro naka, nakakain yan. Ano? Ha? Nakakain yan. Kaya nasa kondisyon. Yes. It's just nice to roll the camera. And just listen to the birds. Ang dami mga ibon. Yes, they're singing. They're probably saying, uh, why are you all here in Dubrovnik? And there's also pigeons there. And lots of small alleyways. Those small alleyways, uh, they're leading to uh, either a church or a cultural place. So I guess there's a lot of walking. Good exercise. And I'll show you how the the ground looks like. Okay, so everything is uh, either cobblestone or just natural stones. So one thing good with uh, our tour is that uh, we do about three to five kilometers a day just by walking. Oh, there's another church here. Oh. Wow. So Dubrovnik is similar to Italy. So many churches. Ah, I can see a stage here. So uh, there's probably a, a performance going on there. And here are more chairs. So they do probably concerts here. Which should be very, very nice. And look at that uh, big tower with the bell. Very nice, too. So, as we enter the fortress, there's more to see. Eh? Wow, ganda naman ng lugar na to. And dami mga arches pa. So lots of tourists going here now, but I do not know why they don't come here during the winter. So what is this? Another 
another piazza oh i heard somebody say there's a harbor here oh they say that the uh, seafoods here is the best oh but i'm seeing an ice cream that's gelato gelato ice cream i need to eat uh, good seafoods because that is supposed to be their specialty here eating seafoods because they're surrounded by water this place is just amazing I don't know why Filipinas don't come here so what is this half day half day uh, blue cave oh, okay huh okay my wife is there she's the one deciding for us how much is it 15 euro or only today you are here oh okay are you here only today no no five five days oh. yeah this is 15 euro for the tour yes oh now, now if you like private boat just for you 15 euro uh Two cave, yeah but we're around. we're seven people you i give you private for you oh private and same price Oh. And you visit the cave. Okay. Luxury park, San Lawrence. Man, now our tour for you, just for your family. So, so if it's uh, 15 euro per person. So, if we're seven, how much is that? It's seven one. for 100 euro. I give you private pass. Oh wait. Let me check with my wife. Huh? She's okay. the one deciding for us. Okay. Okay. Na ko may kausap na pala si Berna. For like same, for same mm. amount, we can organize a boat just for you. Oh, 15 euro then. So, ang presyo pala nila, para pareho. So, that's a good competition. Eh? Almost the same price, 15 euro also. Oh, dami pala mga tours dito. Grabe. Wow. So, so many choices. There's even 10 euro per person. So 10 euro is probably about uh, 500 to 600 pesos. Oh, Ragua. Ah, so this is the harbor. Mm. Look at that. Huh? Let's take a look at the harbor. Oh, look at these people here. They're probably waiting for their own boat. Ah, oh, it's so clean. Ang um, ganda naman. Everything looks very clean. Ah, this this place is so clean from the time we reached the airport till now. I have not seen a single trash. Yes. No trash. Not even cigarette butts. And look at this place. Ang ganda naman talaga. So um, maybe those houses are, are on top. Uh, I'm just thinking whether they have here um, uh, scuba diving. Oh, there's Evan. You want to go fishing, Evan? Oh, look at the waters. Very clear, oh. Oh, clear waters. Ah, I want to go back. I want to go back to Dubrovnik when it's winter because again like what I said hotels are so cheap during the winter and I'd like to uh, explore more and uh, when you're here you're very near uh, Montenegro Bosnia uh, Albania uh, what else um, you're also very near Italy and lots of uh, uh, countries with Shenzhen visa so you can uh, explore most of those countries let's listen to Berna oh I know Berna okay all right so we'll cut the video first Thank you for watching.